Right here, you can see the, the forearm coming up, or the throwing forearm coming up. And as I said, this is a motion. You want to actually initiate that motion here so that you get that, uh, the advantage of that forearm Flipping. momentum turning the arm over, creating external rotation. And then this continual, what we call the bow flex bow, where the torso rotates and bends forward at the waist. You go from an arch back to rotated. a forward a back. Aspect, it's rotated. Like a, sli like a, like a catapult around. of sorts or a slingshot. You, know, you got two slingshots. You got this slingshot this going and you've got this slingshot going. Way. It wants to be along that same plane of rotation. That L lead elbow. And the pinch and then pulling the pinch back together again. Because what's very what's what's important to understand is that on. when this when this shoulder is pulling around, when the scap is being pulled over the around the rib cage to finish that throw, it's working against this opposite scap. So you're trying to pull them back together again. You don't hang your arm out here. You want to pull because <laughs> that covered the key points that I want to make. Okay. Developing good arm action is simply a matter of learning to throw. <laughs> that's, that's all it is, okay? Um, the problem being, well, most high-level players know how to throw, and most high-level coaches know good throwing when they see it. We're, we're, not very many know how to teach it. I mean, it's, 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 it's something that is not that easy to teach. Throwing is simply a learned skill, mechanics of throwing. And like all skills, is it's learned through a trial and error process. And that's, you know, that's something that, you know, you, gotta, you start a young player off pitching. You put him in a game situation, and what's his role? Throw strikes, right? Okay. And that follows him for the rest of his life. All right. And very few, very, too many players don't break out of that mold. They develop a set of mechanics that is geared for throwing strikes. They don't develop a set of mechanics that are for, for optimal throwing. You know, it's kind of a, you know, the body, if you're pushing the body to its limits, it takes a long time to refine it. You know, there's the 10-year rule. I don't know if everybody's familiar with that. Erickson, I believe, is the person that developed it that, it, that it takes 10 years of deliberate practice to reach the highest levels. So if somebody wants to be drafted in the first round out of high school as an 18-year-old, they probably have put, they probably started at eight years old and were doing some fairly decent baseball and they weren't they were allowed to throw, or they learned how to throw, and they weren't locked into, you got to get this batter out, Johnny, if you throw, if you, if you walk him, I'm taking you out of the game, okay? So, you know, anyway, it's private. Um, the type of throwing mechanics...